Hi there, my name is Dr. Jan Roberto, and I'm a family physician in Springfield, Ohio. And I've been practicing for more than 30 years, and I am so grateful that you chose to spend some time with me today. And um, I really have come across so many people in the last several years that are wanting to take control of their health. And I'm really inspired that you are here. So let's see what we can do to learn some simple ways to start moving towards Vitality. And you know, you have to have a picture of what you want. So don't you think this kind of makes sense? You want to feel good, you want longevity, you want happiness, and maybe joy as well. And so the opposite of that, you might look at this and say, I don't want that. That's the ugly sick person. And you know, most people just um, will let life happen. And I know that you want differently or you wouldn't be on here today. And so I just wanna encourage you that this um, is not necessarily your story. At your age, good health is pretty much a thing of the past. You might as well find an illness you enjoy. Well, not on my watch. I would rather not have that happen. But let's be real. Let's look at what's happening right now with heart disease. You know, about one in every three deaths in the US is caused by heart disease. And you know, that is astounding because it is mostly preventable. 2,200 Americans die of cardiovascular disease each day, which includes heart disease, coronary heart disease, heart attack, stroke, high blood pressure, heart failure, and others. And so, um, you know, in February, we celebrate American Heart Month, and these statistics were present last year. And it's astounding to know that in spite of everything, you know, we still have this as the number one cause of death. But one person will die about every 40 seconds, 95 to 100 will die in an hour, 2,200 people in a day and almost a million people will die per year of heart disease. And so let's have a change of heart. You know, 80% can be prevented by lifestyle changes in education. And I'm sure you know somebody or have been affected by somebody that's had some type of heart disease. You know, my father died when I was very young of a heart attack and he was in his early 40s, my husband, had a similar blockage, but he did not pass away. And so um, that is why we're on this mission. And so why don't we talk about, first of all, risk factors, things that you can do to avoid that. Number one is smoking. You know, this is obviously a choice, an expensive choice, but it also leads to heart disease, high blood pressure, and uh, obviously lung cancer. But it is a a, a choice that, that people make at four to five dollars a pack, okay? Also choices of physical inactivity, poor nutrition, being overweight or obese leads to heart disease, leads to diabetes. Diabetes also is a contributing factor towards heart disease. And heart disease um, is definitely something that we want to be aware of. And so, um, you know, people that are diabetic, many of them are, it's a result of being overweight and um, not eating properly. Same with high blood pressure. Uh, smoking is a contributing factor, you know, to high blood pressure as well. And high blood pressure is a contributing factor to um, heart disease. And of course, if you're diabetic, you have an even higher chance of having heart disease and high blood pressure. So cholesterol, you know, is measured, but it's not only the number, it is the quality of your blood cells, whether you have inflammatory blood cells or the lining of your blood uh, vessels. And so um, not only do we want to know your number, but you want positive uh, nutrition choices and healthy lifestyle to help that your blood vessels stay um, less inflamed. And then there's less risk for heart attack and stroke as time goes on. So let's look at the state of practice right now in, in our country is shifting more towards value instead of volume. We are being um, 
held to a different standard now in terms of family practice to practice what we call quality measures, health maintenance. You know, we are encouraged to help people stay healthy as much as possible. And so we spend a lot of time clicking off boxes to make sure that certain metrics are being measured and achieved. And I came across this information on the Blue Zones a couple years ago. And there's a man named Dan Butner who did a lot of studying and realized that there were areas of the world where people were living to be 100. And since then, he has authored several books and has a movement across the world where certain communities are actually embracing his, um, his concepts. And I just wanna outline a few, but um, you will see here Loma Linda, California, and I carry a Greece. I'm gonna tell you a story about Stomatis Moretus, who is actually from Port Jefferson, um, uh, New York, uh, actually from Greece, but he was living in New York. And he was diagnosed with lung cancer at the age of 62 and given nine months to live. And so he thought, I'm going to not do well, so I'm going to go back home to Icaria, Greece with his wife to be with his elderly parents. So picture him moving to a tiny whitewashed house on the side of a hill where his family had some vineyards. And he was sick when he went there, so he just planted a little vegetable garden and got into the island routine. And on Sundays, he would hobble to the Greek Orthodox Church and every day he started to feel stronger and he started to work in the vineyard and he would come home and have lunch and take a nap and socialize with his family in the evening go to the local tavern and play dominoes well this lifestyle for him in particular he lived another 35 years when this picture was taken he was in his late 90s so the blue zones have about nine little nine practices and the first one is to move naturally to make physical activity a natural part of your life so that means walking or riding a bike as often as possible and you know a lot of these areas don't have you know an emphasis on cars and so we want to adapt that concept of walking more knowing your um, mindset your right outlook know your purpose work less slow down take vacations you know downshift you know people do well when they are excited about their purpose their mission uh the third would be to connect who are your five close friends i call it the tribe of five that's um very important with longevity um faith they found those that were connected with faith or reconnected with faith lived longer and were healthier and making family a priority and then with food, stop before you're full. You don't need to eat your whole plate. Uh, more plants, less meat. Uh, eat real food, avoid sugar and processed foods. And then wine at five means connect daily. It's good to know when your day ends. And you know, a little bit of wine is okay, but you can have tea or, or a soft drink, you know, ginger ale or water, but it's just good to connect. I want to die young, but as late, in life as possible and um you know what i have a friend that's that's almost 90 and she's been a role model for me and has practiced all of these habits for so many years i know it works and so my question is what are you willing to do you know what we want to think about is the habits that um so many americans have include 79 pounds of fat per year 8,000 teaspoons of added sugar, 57 gallons of soda. That's a bad habit, okay? Um, exchanging though, bad habits for good habits. And you know, knowing that we don't have to do everything, we just gotta get started somewhere. And so really vitality is the sum of the choices that we make now. And so if your lifestyle doesn't control your body eventually, your body will control your lifestyle. And so we have some resources for you under healthylivingrevolution.com, some cookbooks, some videos on different health topics, 
um, also some exercise um, videos and other children's support. So check that out because we really do want you to move towards healthier lifestyle. And what can you do? I call this my core four, the four pillars, is exercise, sleep well and manage your stress, drink more water, and eat real food. So let's talk for a second about exercise. You know, um, that is not a bad word. It is whatever you enjoy doing. And there's a book called Growing Younger Next Year. And this quote, in 20 years, failure to exercise six days a week will seem as self-destructive as smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. This is by one of the authors, Chris Crowley. And you know what, that has been proven in science. And you know, whatever it is that you can enjoy, do it at least three to four times a week. And um, I promise you that anything you do will have an added benefit. Uh, the second is to sleep more and stress less. Wow. There was a study just recently by Mass General, Massachusetts General Hospital, after eight weeks of simple meditation, they measured genetic expression of 1,500 genes and found that 800 were turned on for health and 600 were turned off for stress just by meditating. And that's deep breathing, calming your mind, uh, slowing down, you know, you might want to um, just learn a few new exercises or techniques to, you know, have fun and enjoy life, okay? Uh, the third is to drink water, okay? Mental clarity is improved. It carries nutrients. It helps with our bowel function, our skin health. And, you know, people are used to carrying their water around, but they might not know exactly how much they're drinking. I like to recommend 60 to 80 ounces at least per day of water. And then finally, eat real food. And, you know, what is real food? Well, it's fruits and vegetables and berries. And the news is not that this is so good for you. It's that fruits and vegetables are so good for you, they could save your life. I heard that 15 years ago, and I am still astounded. But look at this study by research um, at Tufts University, doctors prescribing fruits and vegetables. Hmm, why nutrition policy is national priority. Prescribing the fruits and vegetables could save 100 billion in medical costs. Well, Loma Linda, one of the blue zone areas, look at their pie chart. Less or over half is fruits and vegetables of their daily diet. And so you have to know that this is an important piece. And um, these are the centenarians that are you know, living that lifestyle. And so we're learning you know, what to do. And when I heard that um, we really could make a change, I really wanted to understand that. So I kind of dug into the inside of the blood vessels and found out that at the cause and root of most illness is inflammation. And, you know, inflammation leads to oxidation, which is damage at the cell level. And this happens as a result of the fact that we are making energy. And, um, you know, Time talked about the secret killer of inflammation. And, you know, this was published over, you know, 15 years ago. And so when I really understood that free radicals were the cause of oxidation, and that happens primarily by making energy. And so we breathe, we eat the food, and then free radicals are produced and the I'm sorry, energy is produced and the free radicals are the byproduct. And so there's over 10,000 of these that are affecting our cells per day. And if you just kind of look at this picture, the orange dots are sort of those free radicals that are just going right to our cell membrane. And over time, unchecked, that can lead to disease and aging and obviously death. So we want to do all we can to minimize that damage, to allow our bodies to be as protected as possible. So I like to say, let's armor up, okay? So what do we do for that? How do we armor up? Well, it's with our diet. It's with fruits and vegetables and berries because science has proven that we can affect ourselves for the future by what we eat and how we take care of our body. And the reason this makes sense is because 
most of our blood cells are red blood cells and we have about 30 trillion that turn over about every four months. And so half of our cells right now are stable, a fourth are dying off and a fourth are brand new. So we have the ability over time, three to four months, to really affect all of our blood cells with good nutrition, with more protection. And that is in um, the form of what we call micronutrients. And micronutrients are vitamins and minerals, phytonutrients and antioxidants that science has already proven to protect and neutralize and repair at the cell level. And so, um, you know, many people have heard of vitamins and minerals, but they really have not talked much about phytonutrients and antioxidants. The phytonutrients, 12,455 last time I checked, and over 100,000 antioxidants, they haven't all been named yet, but we know that they are in this produce. And, you know, understanding that gives you the full picture that we have in food that is fuel, that is good for us, the micronutrition um, that works at the cell level. And then we want the right macro nutrition, the protein, the carbohydrates, the fat, the fiber, the good fat to keep us well prepared. And I love this illustration of an apple versus a vitamin. Because here you have listed about 400 of the nutrients that have been identified in an apple. And of course, it doesn't have a label like a vitamin pill does, okay? But we have the synergy of all of those nutrients working together. And as an example, there's about 5.7 milligrams that have been measured in a vitamin C, uh, a vitamin C in an apple but it is as powerful as 1500 milligrams of a vitamin C pill because of the synergy, which is why the whole food is way more important than an isolated vitamin, which at best will give you 15 to 20 um, items compared to the thousands that are in fruits and vegetables. And so we're supposed to eat seven to 13 and most people only get in three to five. I heard Dr. Katz speak um, over 15 years ago, and he um, made this comment, there needs to be an effort to get people to eat fruits and vegetables. Well, most of us wait for that crisis, don't we, to know what is important. And I don't want anybody to wait if they can avoid it. And when I heard that Juice Plus was a simple change, one of many, including eating more fruits and vegetables, I had to take notice because what I saw was this array of fruits and vegetables and berries, the actual whole plant produce that I have been using for over 15 years to flood my body. And I've actually developed new habits and have enjoyed really um, a lot of vitality. And you know, I'm the skeptic. And so when I saw that this had a nutrition label and not a supplement label, I realized that this was actually, you know, something I needed to look at. And then I learned that there were private farmers that, you know, were handpicked to, you know, grow this produce under the best quality and then picked at peak ripeness and then the produce is put into like a big Vitamix and the fluid is removed quickly to preserve the nutrition at a very low temperature and then those powders are blended and more importantly the NSF certification says that it's been independently checked for contamination there's no contaminants or insecticides inside those you know the quality measures that have been put in place and so I was excited with that information, but then I found out that there was research over 43 universities on four continents around the world over the past 25 years have studied Juice Plus independently. And those medical universities then submitted their information to peer-reviewed medical journals. You know, these are mainly majority double-blind placebo-controlled studies, over 2,500 subjects over 25 years in over 41 
journals. And, you know, the Journal of the College of Cardiology got my attention. And, you know, after this many years, I can say this is clinically proven. It's food in a capsule with this huge body of research showing that it's absorbed, it's bioavailable. It helps protect at that cell level. It helps with the immune system to make it more efficient, more effective, um, helps with inflammation and cardiovascular support and protecting DNA. And also omegas, who hasn't heard of the recommendation of, of the essential omegas? You have to um, take them in because our body does not make them. And most people have attempted fish oil and it's unpleasant. And now we have a plant-based omega that bypasses the fish and goes right to the algae. And the health benefits include heart, brain, joint, skin, and eye protection. And so I'm so excited about that. And also we are able to help our families thrive. Our children between four and college are able to participate in the family health study and add Juice Plus for free for up to four years. And we have data now um, over the past 15 years that show that children are eating more fruits and vegetables. Two thirds, they're, they're visiting the doctor less, they're drinking more water, they're eating less fast foods. So what about this message or this quote? Juice Plus helps feed your body with plant-based nutrition and a body well-fed is going to function better. Wow, that is just amazing. And you know, the cost is so affordable. You know, you pay for what you value. So $2.50 a day for the, the um, fruit and vegetable and berry blend, a dollar for the omegas, $2.50 or so for the um, healthy beverage. So, you know, what if this was true for all of us? You've got a rare condition called good health. Frankly, we're not sure how to treat it. I do have some patients like that, and it is a pleasure to see them. So what is your health worth? Think about that. What about heart disease? When one heart stops beating, many more are left hurting. Didn't we learn at the beginning how we can avoid heart disease with diet, with exercise, with avoiding bad habits. And we can add to our vitality by practicing these other habits, you know, the movement, the right outlook, the, the um, right state of mind, the connections with people, the food choices, and of course, the four pillars, exercise, sleep, managing stress, drinking water, and eating real food as much as possible. And so today I am so honored and thrilled that you were here. Hopefully you've learned something and you're going to make a choice to add some of these healthy habits. You know, I believe in you and I know that you really can make some new choices and you wouldn't have been on if you weren't. So I'm glad that you were here. I hope that you are very inspired and thank you so much for spending some time here.